students of grade 11 and welcome yet again to another lesson based on your O-Level English syllabus. In this lesson, you will be introduced to the simple future tense. Let's turn to Revision Point, Unit 10, on page 118. Let's look at what is said about the future tense. The simple future tense is usually used to express a single act in the future time. They have given an example. The school will reopen on the 2nd of September. As you can see, will reopen is underlined. The simple future is a verb tense that's used to talk about the things that haven't happened yet. Let's look at another example, shall we? As you would have noticed from the example, Shanti's aspirations to study French and to live in France are part of her future. She plans to do all those things, but we will never know if it will happen for sure. In other words, we use the simple future to talk about an action or a condition that will begin and end in the future. So, how do we form the simple future? The formula is simple and one that you would have noticed before in the examples given. It's will plus root form of verb. I will learn a new language. Hasib will read that book. My sisters will work till noon at the shop. You will see what I mean. Now look at how the formula is used in these sentences to indicate what will most probably take place in the future. It doesn't matter if the subject is singular or plural, the formula for the simple future doesn't change. But there is another way to show that something will happen in the future. It follows the formula am is are plus going to plus root form of verb. Let's look at some examples and get a better understanding. I am going to do my homework. My father is going to make dinner in a little while. I am going to write a letter to my best friend. Leshani is going to eat the entire cake. Look at how the formula is used here in the words that are highlighted. The going to construction is common in speech and casual writing. Keep in mind though that it's on the informal side. So it's a good idea to stick to the will plus root form construction in formal writing. So how do we make the simple future tense negative? To make the simple future tense negative, the formula is will plus not plus root form. Let's look at some examples. Savitri will not quit before she reaches her goal. Make sure you arrive on time tomorrow because the bus will not wait for you. He will not say anything bad about his friend. I will not finish my homework in time for my next class. So as you can see, the not comes in between the will and the root form verb. Now let's look at how you can form a question using the simple future. To ask a question in the simple future, the formula is will plus subject plus root form. Will Sarojini finish her homework before the class? Will I have the discipline to study a new language like French? What will you buy with the money you earned? Notice how there is a switch between will and the subject. Let's look at some common verbs in the simple future. The negative has also been given. To be, will be, will not be. To ask, will ask, will not ask. To work, will work, will not work. To call, will call, will not call. To use, will use, will not use. To have, will have, will not have. You must now have a super understanding of the simple future. Let's look at an exercise and do it together. 
Put the verbs into the simple future tense. Shanaka has asked a fortune teller about his future. Let's see what the fortune teller has told him. You will earn a lot of money. You will travel around the world. You will meet lots of interesting people. Everybody will adore you. You will not have any problems. Many people will admire you. You will learn many things. There will not be anything left to wish for. Everything will be perfect. But all these things will happen only if you work hard and be kind. Wow, Shanaka seems to have a fantastic future ahead of him. Well, if you have the ability to tell your friends what their future holds, you can definitely use the future tense to do so. I hope this lesson was useful. If you want to also learn about the other three forms of future tense, please subscribe to this channel. Until next time, goodbye.